Um, I know it's a loss, but what glimpses did we see of that in this first game of the new look Nets? Some great glimpses. Um, you know, we started off the game very, very, very good. Um, just the entire game, we just got to find a way to get stops when we need to. Um, you know, offensively, they're not, a, you know, statistically, they're not a very good team, but they made some shots tonight. So uh, we just got to watch some film get better and, uh, you know, chip away. You know, we're still early in this process. It's only game one for all of us. So um, we got a long way to go, but um, we're still excited about you know, everything that's going on. You kind of touched on it there, but just your, your thoughts on that second overtime. I know Colin got hot, but what else did what, – what were you seeing there in that second overtime that, you know, got them going? That was it. You know, he made shots. Um, you know, we started switching a little bit more, and uh, he made some, some tough shots over contested, you know, contested hands. You know, he made a tough shot over Kai to force the, I think, uh, you know, second overtime or overtime. I can't remember which one. But uh, they made, he made tough shots. You know, this is a make or miss league, so – if, uh, if guys are going to be hitting shots like that, it's going to be it's going to be tough for anybody. But I think overall, it was a pretty good game for us, and uh, watch the film and continue to get better. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey James, I'm curious uh, defensively in the fourth quarter. I mean, do you chalk any of that up to fatigue on your guys' part, unfamiliarity with each other defensively as you build chemistry, or do you just say, hey, he, you know, he hit shots and there was a hand in his face. Fatigue. I mean, he made some tough shots. Everybody started at that point, you know. <laughs> so he made tough shots. And if he missed those shots, then it was good defense. No, he made some tough shots. Everybody's tired at that point. And, um, you know, I think we did enough, uh, especially, in a, you know, in the fourth quarter and in the uh, first overtime. You know, I don't know how many points he had in that in that second overtime, but I think he had majority of them. And, um, you know, Chuck ahead of to him. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, James, I, I asked Kyrie, you know, what it took for him, LeBron, uh, and Kevin Love, obviously, in Cleveland that championship year to kind of come together as a unit and gel as a big three. Uh, and he said the two things it took for them were, in short, were resolve and, and open and honest communication with one another. Can you kind of just take me down what it was like for you and Kevin Durant and, and, and Russ back in OKC to kind of come together uh, and really make that run as a championship team? Like you said, just being open with each other, communication. Um, that's that's it. You know, we're all we all have um, a very you know great skill set. It's just communication. Uh, you know, of where you want each other to be. Um, you know, when things are going great, when things are going bad, and 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 that's all that matters. You know, if we're on the same page, we have that communication. Uh, we have a very good chance of uh, winning majority of our, of our games. Bruce Beck, NBC New York. James, do you need games like this uh, for chemistry to continue to evolve? Is it reps? Is it time together? Uh, it's a little bit of both, reps and time. Obviously, it would have been great for us to win, <laughs> and um, you know, and and still figure things out. But a loss is, is still great as well, you know. Especially, um, you know, it's how you bounce back from the loss. It's, it's learning from your mistakes, learning from the losses, and not making the same mistakes two times in a row. So. Um, you know, we got we got a long way to go, but I think we're in the right direction, and, and we got some film to watch. And uh, defensively, we got to be a lot better. And um, you know, offensively, I think you know we still had 135 points, so uh, just correct some things on our switching and our defensive principles. Malik Andrews, ESPN. James, uh, you played a career high 50 minutes and 30 odd seconds tonight. How does your body feel now? And then are there things that you can do in game? to kind of manage yourself if you're going to be playing that long, especially with the schedule being kind of every other day games right now? Well, I, I wasn't expecting to go over double, over, over, double overtime. You know, I think in that fourth quarter, we were just making a push to try to, you know, win the game. And you know, I think we did a good job of that. Uh, double overtime now, I don't know, just ice, stretch, uh, do the proper things. We have an unbelievable training staff. So just get with them and uh, making sure that I'm prepared and ready for go Friday. Um, you know, this is a schedule. This is what we, this is what we're in. Uh, no excuses. So, you know, we just got to be prepared and, and, and ready to go when, when it's game time. 